When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? No, you're not putting that on today. You're not. But you I, cannot put that. No. She but I want to wear it. it no. but... You're going to mess up your hair when it comes off. Do we really have any spare money to play with that would allow us to get anything like this concept in? I'm sure we do. I don't think so. I, I want this one. You're not getting that one. You're getting this one. That's what right. we're going to get. We have the extra money. No, we don't have yes, the we extra do. money. No, yes, we, we don't. Do. Believe me, we don't. That's right. Agree with me on this, and we'll cut it. OK, I... but don't start cutting everything else if I agree to this one. Well, we're starting with that, and I'm going to cut more. Snip, snip. Weddings are an autumnal dream. Weddings are a couple that works as a team. Weddings are sticking to a financial regime. Meet Sabrina and Andrew, just married. The path to their big day had almost as many ups and downs as their bank account. So let's take a closer look at the events leading up to their wedding. My name is Sabrina Markey. I am a 29-year-old customs officer in training. I met Andrew, a professional investigator, during a college softball game. My team won the game, and Andrew soon won my heart. This is a story about how falling for each other ended in a fall themed wedding. Our wedding day was... Awesome. Awesome. It was uh, memorable. It wasn't even stressful. I wasn't stressed at all. I was excited from the morning to night. And it was a good party. It was a good party, all right. <laughs> Well, it may have been a day of merrymaking, but the planning wasn't without its problem solving. So let's spring forward before we fall behind and find out what really happened. Our expectations for a wedding planner were to save the day, come in and keep us on track with well, the not budget. Save the day, yeah, but save help the day. the day. Meet wedding planner Karina Lemke. With her 13 years of experience, was she ready to swoop in and save this couple's day? Roll the pumpkin. Oh, gee whiz. It's still heavy, even carved out, it's still heavy. My role as a wedding planner is to help the couple really figure out what they want for their wedding. Sometimes they're a little scattered and they really need their vision to be pulled together by someone who's been around and knows what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. What's the grand vision, what's the grand plan if, you know, what do you want? Fall themed, everything fall themed. Chocolate browns, reds, oranges, pumpkins, fall leaves, just everything just like fall inspired. You were saying nothing, so... Well, no, I'm looking, we're looking to have something fall-themed. I was thinking maybe something along the harvest line, like you have maybe some bales of hay or some, like, corn stalks or something like that off on the side. I don't know, I, that's what I thought it would be like. No, no hay. No hay, oh. no corn stalks, no, no barns, no, nothing like that. Well, no, no barns, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of the stuff that is, when you think of fall and you see these things, that's all you think of is fall. But there's a very big difference between fall, like autumnal, and country fair. Yes. Yeah. You know, he's autumnal, from the country, I'm not. Country fair. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a venue already picked out? Yeah, yes. we've actually selected a venue. Great. And we booked one. It's very beige. <clears throat> the walls are very beige. That's one, that's one thing she didn't like about it, but I told her, well, what color would you want it to be? Mm -hmm. Beige is going to work with like pretty much any other color you're going to bring into it. Yes, yeah, very neutral, but meaning that now we have to go and add more money to put the decorations in. So I know, but at least something. you can add whatever you want, right? Yeah, it doesn't have to be a lot, because a little bit can go such a long way if you do it right. So in terms of bringing stuff in, you mentioned pumpkins mm -hmm. and leaves. Yes. Okay. Pumpkins don't always end well. Okay. They're very messy, they're smelly, they're dirty, they're not quite as pretty as a sort of, I guess, what you imagine in your head. I like the pumpkins. I want everything that I've planned for my whole life to just be perfect, and, and that's, how, that's exactly how I want my day to be. What's your guest count? About 300. That's a lot of guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah, is, it's, it's an Italian wedding. So that actually leads me to a question. Who's paying? Our parents have graciously offered to pay for the majority of it, and we're paying the rest of it. Do they have a lot of say in the wedding? Yes. Yes. They like to say what they want. I still trump everything. Yeah. I have my vision, and if it's not what I like, then I usually say no. <laughs> so because you're paying for this wedding, you know, together, um, are your finances together? Are you living together at this point? No, we're, we're living at home with our parents right now. We actually put an offer on the house, but it got rejected. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. 
That was okay though, it loosened us up and we can have maybe a little bit more room for some of the things she wants with the budget. When it comes to money, my opinion differs a lot from Sabrina's where Sabrina really, when she has her mindset on something and she wants it, she will do anything she can to get it. Is there anything that, um, that the other parties who are involved are just not keen on that you want? I've been trying to come up with a, a signature drink. Okay. Some kind of a pumpkin style. You're thinking of a pumpkin? She wants to incorporate pumpkin, the pumpkin. Yeah, like a pumpkin. Like the pumpkin pulp. The pumpkin into pulp. And so like a pumpkin smoothie? Yeah, kind of. With alcohol. With alcohol. I actually tried Continue it inside of a gourd. And you're going to serve it in a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, that's new for me. Yeah. What about... I don't like that idea. I think it looks really childish. That's, I, I love it. I love the idea. It's very fall. But it's different. if it's steamrolling just pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I mean, but it's, it's fall themed. Yeah, it it's is It's different. Fall it's different. It's what I like. And that's what I want. What about the dress? A bride can't get married without a dress. It's always something really personal. Yep. I found it. I yeah. found the dress. I can't really say much because he's here. Okay. Um, Andrew, but... cover your ears. Earmuffs. It's beautiful. It's, my mom's gonna love it. She's absolutely gonna love it. So I just gotta take her to go see it. She's the only one that hasn't seen it yet. Is it very traditional or it's a bit more contemporary? It's more contemporary. It's different. It's something that my mother probably wouldn't think that I would pick. And it's already bought and paid for? No, not yet. Down? No, not yet. As soon as she sees it. What about a wedding cake? Have you given much thought to that? We have a person that's gonna make our cake. Um, and what I want is I just want this giant mm. pumpkin. <laughs> I just want something. Surprise, surprise. Another one. Surprise. I don't, I love pumpkins, don't get me wrong, but in every aspect of the wedding, it can't be possible. But that's what, when you see fall, you think pumpkins, yeah. you think autumn leaves. And will it just look like a pumpkin or will it be pumpkin inside? I don't know, maybe they have pumpkin flavored cake. I'm sure they do. That would be awesome. Pumpkin pie. But that would be really interesting. Okay, well, being that it's a big Italian wedding, have you given thought to the guest favors? We decided uh, from day one that we were going to do um, donations to charities in honor of my two grandmothers who have passed away, mm -hmm. his grandfather that passed away, and then uh, to another charity. So is that cool with your families that you're doing a charity thing? No, no, it's not. They um, like the idea of a charity, but they would rather us... Do the bambonietis. Like. Okay, so there might be a bit of tension or friction. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we want okay. donations. Okay, so I think I know what you want. It's basically a beautiful fall themed wedding. Lots of autumnal colors, um, pumpkins. Yes. 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 So given <laughs> that, um, what about the budget? Do you have one? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? You know what? It buys a lot of pumpkins, but it might not buy the whole pumpkin patch. Coming up! How about this? There's no way we're doing that. We're not having a hoe-down kind of wedding. Is that a princess-style dress? No, very lacy. Back I then. think it wasn't lacy. Ouch. No, no, no. <laughs> it's but look, look, style. No, I didn't no. wear that. Those before, okay. When it comes to putting together your wedding, it's hard to keep costs from growing. I just want this giant... Pumpkin. I love pumpkins, don't get me wrong, but in every aspect of the wedding, it can't be possible. It's what I like, and that's what I want. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal whether Andrew and Sabrina were able to patch up their differences in order to keep their budget together. We were pretty sure we knew exactly how we wanted our venue to look on the day of the wedding. I we just really couldn't agree on how we should do it. I love this hall. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So for the decor, what I want is I want beautiful fall colors. But I want all of this to be like like white, kind of like the colors that are up there. White and then chocolate browns. Yeah, browns I just want it to pop. Angry. Just pop yeah. beautiful to go along with all and chair covers. covers. So I'd like to have chocolate brown chair covers and then an overlay on each of the tables. So something like yeah. maybe a chiffon. Like an ivory. A chiffon. Oh, I like, yeah. yeah. In terms of price, what are we looking at? Probably around $25, $2,600. Okay. That's fine. I want it. Yeah. I want it. Okay. Done. You may be done, but Andrew is only beginning. You're what yeah. I miss. Wow. Uh, decor meeting um, for the hall. So we were just talking about backdrops. I don't know what those things are, but they sound good. Okay. It's all the pretty <laughs> fluffy things that when you walk into the room, it makes everything seem kind of pillow-like. Pretty, pretty things. I'm guessing it's a good price, obviously, if you're into it. Yep. $2,600. $2,500. $2,500, yep. $2,600 for everything. That's all $25, of it. $2,500, that's, that's right, Andrew. What did you expect? $10? That's a lot. And that covers what? 
Like everything, every all the tables, all the linens, all the chair covers. Maybe get our own fabric and stuff like that from a fabric store. Maybe we'll save some money that way. Like they have professionals come in who are professional drapers. Can't to do we just backdrops. buy it and then give it to them? Wouldn't it be cheaper that way? No. It's still the labor. It's still the labor. So Why? it's mostly labor-intensive costs. Yes. Is there anything you can scale it back on? No. Really? Would you say? Like, no. No way. No. We have to have it. And the thing is, the plate charges at the hall are very, very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting a very good deal in terms mm -hmm. of food and beverage. So, yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it's better that they didn't inflate the price at the beginning. No, I, I understand. I know. It's, you know, I mean, a lot of halls, you could have been paying another 50 bucks a person. But I think you're saving money in the end. Yep. OK. Well, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done, I guess. All right. OK. okay. But Andrew wasn't done at all. I had an idea that we could still stay inside the fall theme and have it be a lot more affordable. This should be interesting. These are my ideas. Look, look at all the free leaves. All the trees have leaves. They're on trees <laughs> and they are green. I'm not Soon putting fall. real leaves on the table. Why not? It's authentic. That is the, the most oh, real. Oh, is it authentic fall. to have okay. a bug going all across the table? There won't be any bugs. What are you going to do? Jump up the tree and pick them all down? No, they're going to let them come to me. It's too bad money doesn't grow on trees. I'll There's no them. way. Look, look I'll at that. They're disgusting. They're, they're leaves. No. Right. Come here, look, I got more decor. How about this? This will this be some decoration. Right? This will be some of the no. decor. Yeah, why not? This was only five bucks. There's no way we're doing that. We're not having a hoe down kind of wedding. <laughs> Come on, Sabrina. It'll be bales of fun. Andrew, there are flies coming out of it. Mosquitoes. You don't know what's in it. All right, we won't use the hay. How about the real leaves? No, no real leaves? No. Everybody's a no? Fake leaves. Okay, fake okay. leaves. Okay, but like, what am I going to do with this? With that? Yes. You're taking that back from where you got it. I had already picked out a dress that I absolutely loved, and I couldn't wait for my mom to come see it, and I also brought my friend Santilli along with me to check it out. So I bet you things went real smooth there. Hello, guys. Hi. Is this the groom? No, no, no. just oh, the driver. Good. I was worried. <laughs> I have your dress. Oh, come on, follow me. I'm so it's, excited. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Good. Wait till you okay. see it. I'm ready. Okay. I'm anxious. All right. It'll look beautiful. Sabrina, honey, if you need help, let me know, OK? OK. Oh, yeah, it's so you. But it's not about you. It's about Sabrina. Love you, the face, Ma. Are you serious? Yes, obviously, I am. Chocolate brown, it matches the dresses. It's not the reaction I expect. I don't like it. What don't you like about it? Shiny, it's chocolate brown, and the price. The price is just in my budget, 675 You can't go wrong, it's perfect. It's less than I thought it would be. There are so many dresses out there that are shiny, not chocolate brown. No, sorry. That was one dress that did not impress. Put a veil on you. Uh, no, I don't like it. I'm sorry. See, we could even do this chocolate brown. I don't know about it. I don't even know what Andrew would think of it. it yeah, it's just it'll go no. With the, it's the not dresses. you, and it just. Yeah, but no. I'm buying it. I know I'm you're buying it, it so but you I know like I don't. I can't see you walking down the aisle with that dress with your dad. Yeah, I don't think you should have color in it. I think no. you should be in white. I think so, too. What's the point in matching the bridesmaids? We can go out of your budget and agree to buy a dress that we both like. So you're telling me that you're going to buy me a dress, a headpiece, a veil, shoes, everything. Hey, and even... I don't get this dress. Exactly. I'll even throw in the earrings, the necklace, and even a manicure and a pedicure. So that will be your father and mine wedding present. Let's look. Let's, Let's look. look. Make everyone happy. Except me. Now that's a deal Sabrina couldn't refuse. Nope. I like the beads. It's too flashy. No. How about this one? No, no. Look how cute it is. No, I don't. No? No. It's too much. I see, this is going to be fun. What about this one, huh? This one's no, it's too red. I could do chocolate brown and then it's match Rita. the girls. We're defeating the purpose of the first dress that was in chocolate brown, remember? Yeah. So, no. Well, that's it's no. only seven ninety nine. I don't care what the price is. I agreed to buy your dress, so we're going to get something that we both like. Hey, Sabrina, what about this one? That's actually really nice. Oh, yeah. It takes a secure man and a crown to pick out your dress. Let's try that one on. I like the way that is. Let's see. I really like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the back. It's gorgeous. Go try it on. From chocolate brown to a classic gown, fingers crossed this is the one. I love it. Beautiful. I it love it. It is absolutely oh, gorgeous. It's just hopping around. It's so pretty. Look at it. That is beautiful. Turn oh, around. Let me see. Gorgeous. Just. Very simple, but so beautiful. 
I love it. Now, see, that's something I can see you walking down the aisle with your dad. And how much is this dress to Santa? It's $1,500. Well, more expensive than I... Just My budget. I know. But you know what? Look at the expression on your face, though. And I agreed to pay for the dress, so... You can thank me later? Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy you a oh. drink later. Now, don't forget, manicure and pedicure, too, you said. Of course. All right. All right. This is it. The whole package. You won that bottle, eh? I always do. I would have paid for the whole wedding party to get her out of that dress. You did look gorgeous in that dress. I looked gorgeous in both dresses. When it came to our wedding cake, there's a fine line between a Halloween-themed cake and a fall-themed cake. And we walked that line perfectly. We almost fell over on your edge of it. <laughs> Come on in. Well, we brought some things for you. OK. I have visions, just, just okay. lots of visions. I have this idea like a pyramid. OK. So you put it, you know, just kind of like that. Kind of like a cone? Yeah. Isn't that cool? I, yeah, no. I like just the idea of three-tiered cakes, something a little bit more traditional, something along these lines here, but without these colors. Okay. He's very um, traditional. I'm not. Except when it comes to paying for things, and you make him do it. Did you want more of a Halloween theme, or...? I just I thought it would be something... It. I do not want a Halloween theme for the wedding. Okay. I, I want is... a fall theme for the wedding. This is Halloween. Halloween is not part of our... But they're pumpkins. You, you like this no, idea. No, but these are, these are jack-o'-lanterns. Those are pumpkins. Jack-o'-lanterns are out. Okay. Yes. Let me... Well, tell me what you're thinking. What would the price of something like this be, like, the whole pyramid looking with all the... Okay, how many guests are you having? 250 or so. 250 That's a lot of little pumpkins. You're probably looking at about $1,200. Okay. $1,200. There's no way that's happening. That's a pretty penny for a patch of pumpkins. Now, when we spoke on the phone, you kind of told me you wanted a fall theme yeah. and pumpkins. So this is what I came up with. And I think you're both going to like it because it's still the pumpkin fall theme and it's a little bit more traditional because it's a three-tiered. That's awesome. I love that. I still like the pyramid. It's just a little nice. bit bigger. This is the three tiers like what I like. These are pumpkins like what you like. And as far as cost, this you're looking at about 600 That's not bad. So you've cut your costs in half. That's one way to patch up your budget. I, I want this one. You're not getting that one. You're getting this one. That's oh, what we're going to get. We have the extra money. No, we don't have yes, the extra do. money. No, yes, we, we don't. Do. Believe me, we don't. We're getting this one. No, Because we're that's that the one. price. That's the idea. That's what we're looking for. They're stacked. And they're pumpkins. It's not going to look like a traditional wedding cake, I promise you that. No, look what she's got out here. But you'll still have to use a traditional method of payment. We have the money for it. Come on. No. Come on. If you love me. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're keeping that. Okay, if you're keeping that, I'm keeping that, page because I'm definitely working on you on this Wait, one. For your second wedding? <laughs> <laughs> for my second wedding, yes. Not a problem. It's yours. There you go. Thank All right, you. that's fine. Coming up. I love it. I love it. You actually came up with a good idea. I ended up with three wedding dresses, one from the Philippines, which uh, it didn't fit me, and uh, one from San Francisco that I did not like. His name was uh, Brian. And I ended up uh, one month before the wedding that I found this beautiful dress. When dressing up your wedding day, it's inevitable that arguments will erupt. So you're telling me that you're going to buy me a dress, everything, if you... I don't get this dress. Exactly. You won that bottle, eh? I always do. I would have paid for the whole wedding party to get her out of that dress. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether Sabrina and Andrew won the battle with their budget. We both love hockey, so uh, we came up with an idea where we would have incorporate hockey into no, our entrance. We didn't come up with anything like that. You came up with that idea. And it was a great idea. Anything I can help you with? Well, I'm looking for jerseys. Okay, hockey jerseys, hockey I take jerseys, it? Hockey jerseys, yes. Okay. Was there anything in particular you're looking for? Or? Well, what are the costs of these? Okay, well, this particular jersey that you're looking at here, by the time you put some uh, crusting on it and different things, you're looking at about $100. Okay. $100. 100. 100. For how many people? Uh, 18. <laughs> 18 jerseys. Yes. For $100 each. The whole wedding party. I don't want to wear a jersey. Well, I have, I something, I I have something a little less expensive. If you don't want to be in the $100 range, I could show you something there. I like the $100 range. Money may talk, but it's falling on Sabrina's deaf ears. 
Mine will say Mrs. Katzy, yours will say Mr. Katzy, and then everyone's will say Team Katzy. That's ridiculous. We'll have like a pumpkin logo on the a front. A pumpkin logo. Now, what would it cost if we were to like put logos on it? Okay, what did you want to put on it? His last name and my last name, and then just like the Team Katzy. Okay, so if you were to put a design on the front, you would be looking at about six dollars a shirt okay. for the front. And then uh, Team Catsy on the back would run you about $3. So you'd be adding about another $9 to the shirt or something. So about 109 bucks. Right. No waving on prices and stuff? Uh, not on that, that kind of quantity. If we're doing, you know, 50 or 70, we're not getting different. Them. But we can do up a very nice design for you, too, on the front. You know, I can have our artist do up a design, and it'll, it'll oh look nice. God. It'll be a, certainly be a, a bit of a collector's item for you. Do we really have any spare money to play with that would allow us to get anything like this concept in? I'm sure we do. I don't think so. Okay, to make him a little happier. Okay, I'll show jerseys? you the other one. This one here, your starting point at this one is about $15.99 for the shirt. You're without the stripes, and the quality of the material is a little less, but it will serve the you know the same function. And that's how much? Fifteen ninety nine is your starting point. And you still want to all eighteen I don't, people? That's, in? that's cheap looking. Oh. I I want the hundred dollars. <laughs> I like the idea. There's no way we're wearing jerseys into this hall. There's Come no on. way. No. You love hockey. I do love hockey, and I know it was you. It's your love idea hockey. for the hockey theme to come in, so I'm just adding a little spice to it. That's a little bit more than a little spice. How many winnings have you been to where they come in with hockey jerseys on? Everyone's supporting us. And... Zero. <laughs> exactly. So we'll be the first. They have it for life. And you'll have the debt for life. <laughs> oh my God! No way. No? no? No budging. Doesn't matter, we're doing it anyway. I'd do it for you. If you said to me, Sabrina, let's come in in hockey jersey, I'd be like, no problem. It's because something you want. I want this. And you think we can afford this? We will. Well, you Got get it? your way. Awesome. It's because you love Break me. Break the bank. It's because you love me. Yeah, I love you. All right, perfect. Thank you. OK, you're welcome very Yay. much. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. You and your pumpkins, everywhere. I know, it's fall theme. This is what the end result is. She wants this to be what everybody carries okay, around nice at the thing? hall and they take little sips out of it. <laughs> 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 it's not, it's you don't like the gourd idea? No. Please tell me this is all of them. About she said 200 $407 and... worth of them. Yeah. Sabrina, are you out of your gourd? Pumpkins smell bad. Pumpkins that are carved out a week before your wedding smell really, really bad. In order for those gourds to actually maybe work, they'd have to be done the night before your wedding. And to do 300 of them the night before your wedding? Oh, come on. We've got better things to do. So at the hall, they have different things, like actual glasses that people normally put signature drinks in. <laughs> and those glasses are usually free because they're included with your package. So um, martini glasses, highballs. So there are a couple of things that you can do to make glasses more interesting if you want. This is Japanese paper, so that's one option. Another option, you could take paper. You could actually do some sort of a treatment on top of the you glass. Put like a ribbon around that, that exactly. Gooseberry. Mm. These are in season, and you could do something that like does that. Look pretty good, that right? looks pretty. And the thing is, you can line these up. You can have these already presented on trays. It will look actually very, very nice. You wanted these for decor. This will become decor because we'll put, you know, nice trays of these so that they will go around as your guests come in. Okay, so we have three options now for you, Sabrina. Behind door number one, we have a lovely martini glass, probably about 50 bucks to do everything, and you don't actually have to do any of the work. Behind door number two, we have a lovely highball. The candy is a little bit more expensive. We'll probably come in at about $75 total, and you might have to do the work. The hall might do it. I don't know. Behind door number three, we have the pumpkin cup. Um, this, $407. <laughs> And uh, paid for. hard labor for you and your friends the night before your wedding, and the possibility of a very stinky house. I like the first one. The first one it is? Sure. I like the first Karina's one. Karina's here for <laughs> Thank, Thank God, God you came you in. Came. You Please don't be mad at me for signing I'm not, idea. Of course not. I love this Thank idea. You. Thank you yeah. very much. We, what are we going to do with all these now if they don't return them? Well, Decor. Exactly. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Now, that was a signature drink that was presentable looked real classy, and it had a lot of people talking about it, that's for sure. It was my pumpkin mix. Yours. I'll definitely tell everybody that it was yours. <laughs> I thought with the hockey-themed entrance, I could step it up a little bit for a grand entrance and make it just that much more impressive. And what an idea that was. Hi. How you doing? Good, Andrew. Sean. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, 
I called you the other day about uh, renting the Zamboni for our wedding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys are the couple, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, I got one of my guys. He's bringing it out for you. So if uh, you guys want to come and take a look at it, we can go and see. All right. Great. See what you Perfect. think. Thank you. All right. Oh, I love the smell of the cold ice. Careful. Yeah, it's very it's slippery. White. Yeah, see? It's nice, eh? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Make sure I don't fall. Thank God there's no ice at the wedding. Yeah, well, that's a bonus. It's really nice. Yeah. So, uh... This is fantastic. This looks awesome. Can we go for a ride? Sure you can. I'll put your foot there, and then you can step on the other thing. Okay. All right, I'm good. There you All go. Right. Imagine that, eh? Just pulling up to the curb like this. That'd be awesome. I love it. I love it. Love awesome. It. Awesome. I High think this is a great idea. idea. You actually came up with a good idea. Yeah, a lot of people like the Zamboni. I'm sold. Careful awesome. getting down there. I'm sold. Step down there. There we go. Someone's going to fall. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. There you go. It'll be easier. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Not a problem. You Thank like it? Thank you. $200. Like great it? deal. That's it. That's perfect. Well, sold. Yeah, that's 200 is just for the delivery. Yeah. Um, uh, the actual rental fee is $500 a day. So you're looking at... I five, thought it was only 200 right? $200 is just for delivery. I got to send this on a, a flatbed tow truck. And then you yeah. got the $500 rental. So what would it be, give or take, all in? Total? Yeah. Uh, you're looking real close to $1,000 for the day. Here's a deal that's slipping away. I wish I had known this before. I honest... No, we cannot do it. We can't, it's not, it's not gonna be working. Check the wallet, it's not gonna work. You brought me here, yeah, now I, I fall in, I want some outrageous entrance, and this is pretty outrageous. Yeah. And now I want it, now I've actually no. fallen in love with it. No, I'm gonna have to tell you, no, I, I don't think it's gonna work now. No. Do I you require thought. a deposit? Uh, yeah. Don't be... take it yet. <laughs> don't take it yet. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure that out and uh, talk about it. We have to re. No. Look, we have to really, really look at this again. No, we can't now. I don't know, Sabrina. I think Andrew's about to freeze your assets. There's just no deals you can cut or anything like that, eh? That that's a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, sheesh. Uh, no, we can't. We can't. It's it's can't. way over budget now. I'll put the deposit down. No, I will. No, you're not gonna put a deposit down. We could look at that's... maybe cutting a couple other things. I don't know to make no. this work. I know that this is something that I came up with, and it's something that you love now. You're gonna worry and worry and worry. I'm gonna be it doesn't broke. Matter. Gonna be broke. We're gonna be broke. We are gonna be broke. But it'll be worth it. Okay. All right, so do you take check? Yep. Okay. I loved the idea of the Zamboni, especially the fact that it went so perfect with our hockey theme and the jerseys. <sighs> Me and my great ideas. I wish I didn't have any of them at all. Coming up. Andrew and I are paying for these, and I can't say yes without Andrew even being here. Well, we already bought them. And you, well, you should have talked to me before you went and bought anything. He looked pretty good. He didn't own a suit. Because, of course, why do you need a suit for if you're an actor? So we had to go out and get him a suit, and that's another story. No, why do you need a suit if you're an unemployed actor? <laughs> when drawing up the plans for your big day, it's the little things that mean a lot. We can do up a very nice design for you, too, on the front. Do we really have any spare money to play with that would allow us to get anything like this concept in? I'm sure we do. I don't think so. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether Sabrina and Andrew were able to spare a little to save themselves from big debt. So we got stuck with all these extra little pumpkins and we didn't know what to do with them because we couldn't return them, couldn't get our money back. So I, my brilliant ideas, rented an art studio and I got my maid of honor, my sister and a few bridesmaids and Karina came along and we decided to glitterize the pumpkins and they look beautiful. And they got used. So what's the game plan? How are we doing this? Okay, well, we clean the pumpkins off because they are pretty dirty. Then you put the glue on. So once you've got half done, then you can take the glitter of your choice, either a chocolate brown, a lovely orange or a nice copper shade. <laughs> And you just sprinkle on. So once we actually get half done, then you just shake it off, shake it off. That's right, shake off that financial anxiety. So those are not the real place cards, obviously, but once they're actually, once we actually have the place cards and these are done, we're gonna put toothpicks on these and actually just put them. Oh, that's nice. I know, so they will actually go on the, I guess, receiving table in the They do look stunning, the they do look stunning, I love them. And then people can take them over to the table and they can actually be decor on the table. There has to be a faster way to do this, it, like besides putting all the glitter all over the place. It's trying to all the complaining, this is pretty, it's fun. No, it, it's a lot of it fun. It washes off, you're lucky I'm not making you paint. It would be a lot more fun if there was wine involved. 
The only wine available is the whining Andrew's been doing about the budget. We're almost done. Like, this is it, right? Like, oh, no. Yeah, it's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That box right there. Oh, my heavens. We need one. We're going to be here forever. No, we're not going to be here forever. We're going to be here a little bit longer. All right, let's do it. I'll keep with these. Look at them, though. They're pretty. They're really pretty. I love them. The assembly line picked up the pace, and with a little bit of patience, the pumpkins were glitterized. The glitterized pumpkins, say it. They look good. You did. They look beautiful. A they lot look of people absolutely like gorgeous. Them. They looked really good, and it was nice and flashy and flickery off the side of wherever they were put. Flickery? Flickery. Everywhere. <laughs> Flicker. Instead of guest favors, we wanted to make donations to some charities that are very important to us. Yep, we just felt that uh, it would be nice to represent people who are no longer with us and give back to the community a little. We are having a European wedding. And the donation is fantastic. Some people will understand it, but we would love people that are invited to have a gift other than the donation. Let's just look at them and see what you think. have an open mind, you know. Forgive my ignorance, but what is it? That is a spoon holder. What you do is ah. when people are cooking, instead of putting their dirty spoon on a stove or the counter, they place it on here. It yes. also looks like a tulip. <laughs> oh, how cute. Pretty and there's tulip. a cute little flower in there. It's the color theme of your wedding. I, I know. Listen to us before you start arguing I'm with us. I'm not saying anything. Okay? <laughs> that look on your face Relax. is enough, OK? Inside, she's going to put some candies. Mm -hmm. She's going to put a calla lily. Then she also gave us the colors of the ribbon. and. Um, what Lucy and I will do is we will go get a card with your and Andrew's name on it, the date and all that, and we hand this to the people when they come in. Yeah, but will Sabrina and Andrew need a handout after paying for these? There's about a dozen in here. Yeah, so we've got is... more. We've got 125 altogether. You bought them? Yes. We bought them. It cost us about $500. Yeah. $500? Yeah. Oh, my God. My God, I... what? Can you return them? No. No. no Why no. not? Because we already bought them. And what is wrong with that? That's a good price. Well, that depends on who's paying for them. You're not expecting me and Andrew to pay for these. Mm, yeah, why not? It should be traditional. It should be. You're, I mean... We're not paying for these. We, it's that's, part of the wedding. But that's what we're doing, the donations. We said You don't have it in your budget to do both, no. right? But you just can't have donations. You have to have something else to give to these people that are coming. I'm not paying for these. Andrew and I are paying for these, and I can't say yes without Andrew even being here. Well, we already bought them. And you... Well, you should have talked to me before you went and bought anything. Yeah. I can't afford $1,000. That's not in my budget. What would make you happy? Yeah. Donations. OK. That's what we're doing. Do you like these? <laughs> we look like we're going to beat you with I know. Beat yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Just Actually, it's the budget that's taking the beating. Yes. You know what? We've spent so much on this wedding. I know. Are you willing to split it? Yeah, I'll split it with you. Go with it? Yeah. Make everybody happy? Yeah. Make that's, Sabrina that's happy? That's exactly what I want to do. Yes. Just say yes. And Just say yes. Finish this. Yes. yes. OK, oh, don't, don't break them. They're four bucks a piece. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go for it. Karina came to meet us at one of our favorite restaurants because we had some uh, pretty big and very exciting news, actually, to share with her. Some big and serious budget-changing news. Hello. Hey. Hi. So? so? You left a very vague message, but it sounded happy. What's the news? The offer on the house that we got denied before? Yeah. They accepted it. Ah! Yeah, I know. We're so Congratulations. Good. Thank you. So this is good. Very yes. good. Yes. Oh, my god. I guess we're Champagne. celebrating? Yeah. Yes. It's all going to work out. We're not really. We're not really. Well, I'm not really that way. going to change some things, though. <laughs> going to change the budget any for the yes. wedding? Because, I mean, originally, you were on a pretty tight budget, and then the offer got rejected, so we figured we could actually loosen the purse strings a bit. Yeah. They have I, to be tightened now. I don't think so. So okay. some things I think we're going to have to drop, cancel a few items, and we're going to have to maybe compromise and sway on some others. Let's hope the budget will bend and not break. OK, so your numbers are still the same, right? Yes. So, yeah. So that's fine. And the food and beverage hasn't changed any, so that's no. fine. No, that's all the same. That's the same. Any progress on the hockey jerseys, you know, the grand entrance? Yeah. They're 1900 Yeah, they're $1,900 for all of them. That really has to be shaved off. This is the first thing that she's mentioned, and right away you're like, shave it off, it, shave it off, it, that's it. You have to admit, $1,900 is a lot of money just to come into the room. No, no. I don't want to drop that. 
What if we were to bring the numbers down by just giving the hockey jerseys to the two of you? Would you consider that? Because that would save us like so, sixteen hundred dollars, probably. They're there to see you. They're not there to see everybody else. Exactly. This is your day. That's right. Agree with me on this, and we'll cut it. Okay, I, but don't start cutting everything else if I agree to this one. Well, we're starting with that, and I'm going to cut more. Snip, snip. Anything else I should know about? How about the Zamboni? Zamboni? <laughs> he came up with the idea to try to maybe come in on a Zamboni as a grand entrance. I fell in love with it when I, when I wrote it. <laughs> I fell out of love with it when I found out the cost. It has to drop because there's no way we can afford that to the house. I said I don't want to cut what all these things. What is important here, the house? Can the Zamboni even go into the hall? No. No. no it was going to be pulled up on the curb. We jump off and walk in. You are going to drive up outside on a Zamboni that none of your guests really will be able to see? We have Fine. to have a Fine. roof over our heads. Fine. Put our Zamboni out. Thank you. This is easier Perfect. than I actually I thought know. it was going to be. You owe me. You're going to owe me. So tell me about the cake. Oh, it's awesome. It's so much fun. So we found a lady that's going to be doing our cake. and. Um, we brought gourds to kind of show her, and I put them in like a pyramid, and I showed her, and she thought it was a cute idea. You it's even creative, thought it was a cute yes. idea. It was something different. It's also $1,200 to like, do because it's so much labor. We need to rethink this. We had the girl, um, Susan, you know, draw something up for us, and she came up with this. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want her. No. <laughs> wait, wait, just wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to rip your sketch. No, it's okay. It needs to be seen. Okay. That's a compromise right down the middle. Yeah, I'm assuming that it's orange. It will be orange. Yeah, she's going to decorate it right up. And these are going to be, uh, like, edible fondant leaves, like fall leaves. Bright colors, everything that we want. It's compromised. Split I, right down the middle, even compromise. the price. Even I compromise on the entrance, Wait, on the jerseys. We're not looking at that. That's done. This is what we're looking at now. This is split right down the middle. This is a nice cake. It looks sort of like a wedding cake, but it's just that little bit different. It's pumpkins, right? No one will have ever seen anything like this. It's also $600. That's it's half a lot of money that's been knocked off. That's so gonna look everything's awesome. being cut, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. This is money going towards our home, not just back in our pocket to throw somewhere else. This is going for us to live. Come on. No, that's fine. Okay. There you go, 600 bucks. Yep. Now that they'd lowered their costs, it was time to raise their glasses. Cheers. Happy? Very happy. Happy, very happy. Coming up. Did you try this on? Okay, <laughs> take it off. Take it off. No, you can't wear that. That looks ridiculous. I think you were glad, too, that this being the 70s, we were all standing up there in powder blue and peach tuxes. No, I... We were all in black. True. We yeah. all had the nice tuxes and the cummerbunds yeah. and the, yeah. the whole th the whole nine yards going on. None of that powder blue with the flares yes. and the, yes, the peach. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to planning your wedding, sometimes in order to mend your budget, you have to cut your costs. Okay, but I... don't start cutting everything else if I agree to this one. Well, we're starting with that. And I'm going to cut more. And at the end of the show, we'll disclose how much Andrew was able to trim from the budget and still give Sabrina her big day. The morning of the wedding, I was fine. I thought I'd be nervous and have anxiety, but I was relaxed. Hey, Bia. I have some stuff for you. Oh, Shim. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm, this is awesome. Mom, you're, you're, you have two. Or did you yeah. Of course. <laughs> Save it for the bride to keep her on track. <laughs> I love my veil. I told you, I'm wearing this on the plane. I tried to keep my yeah. hair on. Um, Jeans hair. and a veil? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's what I would have worn besides my dress. Just yeah. the veil Your and headpiece. It would have helped with the budget. The morning of the wedding, I was really excited to get going on the day. I was, I was feeling really good. I was really loose. I had all my friends with me and my brothers. I was really anxious to get the day going. Uh, I really wanted to see how all of our plans would turn out. And see me. <laughs> And see Sabrina, of course. Careful, Andrew, or else you're going to be in hot water. Do you want some tea? Watch it shrink. The crease gone? I think you just need to hold on. <laughs> this is why you need a wife. This is why I'm getting married. I guess an iron wasn't part of the budget. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, good call. Well, that's probably as good as you're going to get. That's fine. And while Andrew prepped his outfit, Karina preened the hall. Roll the pumpkin. It's leaving a track of mud. Yay, look, it's it's like bowling now. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the bottom. Oh, gee whiz. It's still heavy. Even carved out, it's still heavy. 
Well, hopefully they got their money's worth. Perfect. Yay. There you go. And from gooseberries to getting goose, the wedding preparations continued. <sighs> Just take a deep breath in. All right. Burger belt it is. I love your blue toes. I love something, something blue. blue. All right. Awesome. All right. Are we ready? This bride was eager to hit the church. My heart's pounding. That looks really good. Nice and pretty, eh? Sabrina! You look gorgeous. Oh, yeah. you still look I good. have to go too. Yeah, go. <laughs> okay, that looks really now good. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Have a drink. You just sit there. Yeah. Like, beautiful. And while Sabrina took a breath, our groom and his guys get ready to roll in style. All right. Sorry, I didn't get the F650 super truck. I got lots of room. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I know, I'm actually pretty comfortable. The boys were ready to roll. The wedding guests settled into their seats, and the ceremony was set to begin. When I was at the altar, I didn't know when to turn around because everybody kept telling me, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't look, she's right back there. So I'm standing at the front going, can I turn around, can I turn around? Finally, I heard someone say, yeah, turn around, she's coming. And I turned around, and, and I couldn't believe how good she looked. She was absolutely stunning. Like, you were absolutely beautiful at that. Oh, you got my eyes are watery. I, Andrew, Jonathan Andrew. Katz. I, Andrew, Jonathan Katz. Take you, Sabrina Markey. Take you, Sabrina Markey. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Sabrina Markey, take you, Andrew Jonathan Katz, to be my husband. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. We have witnessed the exchange of vows. I'll ask you to please stand now for the <laughs> petitions. OK, this is when it's official, right? We can't run now. <laughs> it's too late. Please stand now to receive the new bride and groom. Coming up. We got married on a Sunday. There was lots of space open at different places for Sunday to have a, a wedding reception, so we got married on a Sunday. I think it was also part of the budget. You got married on a day that's not so popular, it's a better price. When it comes to planning weddings, sometimes it's easy to get steam. Sit up, watch it shrink. <laughs> Soon we'll reveal whether Sabrina and Andrew managed to have the day of their dreams without getting financially burned. The entrance was great. Um, I was really, I was a little nervous. I really was. But I think I was just so, so excited just to get the party finally started. And ready to enjoy some hijinks and high sticking. You ready? I'm ready. We're going to walk it in. I'm excited. Here they are. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. It is pretty cool. All right, let me try mine. I don't know if I want to put it on. No, you're not putting that on today. You're not. But she I, cannot put that. No, she but cannot I put it on. No, listen, no, you cannot put it on over top of your hair. And on. you can't put, put it on over your on. dress. I'll wear it. Okay. I'll wear it. Okay, yours doesn't even fit. <laughs> Did you try this on? Okay, <laughs> take it off. Take it off. No, you can't wear that. That looks ridiculous. Tight. Okay, we have to make a decision. Do you want to have them in your wedding entrance as some in some way? Yeah, what yes. if I just like still kind of still put it on my shoulders, put it on exactly. my back? Kalina can figure something out. You, yeah, you look good. Thanks. <laughs> Whose idea was this? You're not my idea. Sabrina, Whose was idea this was it? My idea. Yeah. You can, you can. Like it? Why don't work? And with that, the couple was ready to work it. <laughs> The pumpkin theme was a hit, a delicious meal was enjoyed by all, and the party went on into the night. The wedding day was amazing. It I was beautiful. Couldn't I, have asked for anything more. The decor, the colors, everything went off perfect. I love it. I love you, and you were absolutely beautiful today. I love you too. 
This couple may love each other, but will they love the bill? The original budget that we handed to Karina was $30,000. Sabrina's dress was gorgeous, and her mother paid for it, so it was free. The jerseys that Andrew and I wore were a huge hit, and they cost $212. The guest favor situation turned out pretty well. Our parents bought the Bombonieris, so they were free. Sabrina and I donated to charity $500. The cake was gorgeous, and it tasted amazing, and the cost on it was $600. Sabrina's glittered pumpkin place card holders were a great touch for the day and added a lot of sparkle. Their costs were $610. Karina was great at coming up with advice and creative solutions. Her fee was $2,500. The lantern centerpieces and fall decor were worth every penny at $4,450. The venue was awesome, including food and alcohol. Total cost was $27,100. Miscellaneous costs, including DJ, photographer, limo, hair, and signature drink were $3,775. What we actually spent on the wedding was $39,747. Which brings us over budget by $9,747. How is it that much? Because you love me. It's all about loving me. Money doesn't matter. That's a lot of money. We're over. It's all right. The day's done. The cake was unique. The pumpkin teenies were a hit. And Team Catsy danced the night away. The only question left is, now that they're drowning in debt, will Sabrina ever let Andrew come up for air? We were so disorganized. It was the most disorganized <laughs> wedding. But we had a great time. It was just a hoot. Yeah, yeah, I know. To have him to hold till I kill him. Well, okay. <laughs> He's mine to kill any way I want. <laughs> Mark.